All right, take a live look outside. You can't, can you tell it from that camera or not? There's, we've, we have seen a lot of shaking going on this morning because right. of the strong wind gusts, Lindsay. What yeah. were they gusting at a couple of hours uh, we've ago? We've had wind gusts as high as 39 miles per hour, 38 last hour in mm -hmm. Indy, so anywhere between 30 and 40 miles per hour, which kind of put that into perspective. I mean, think about how much moisture we had from the rain this past weekend, mm -hmm. one to two inches of rain. Yeah. We could see some trees topple, and we already have had down tree reports. Mm -hmm. Early this morning, we had a tree down uh, up near Meridian and Westfield Boulevard, and that took mm -hmm. some time to clean up. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some power outages. So it's going to continue then? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Through the rest of the afternoon and really through the overnight tonight, we are on the backside of this system. We have a tight pressure gradient on that backside of that, which is why these strong wind gusts continue. This is a live look downtown, and you can certainly see that camera really moving around. We have a sustained wind around 22 miles per hour, but the wind gusts, we just talked about 38 miles per hour here in Indy. We're also picking up on some light snow flurries falling in the downtown area with a temperature of 35. Now, you might be wondering, how was it snowing and it's 35? Well, the surface temperature is 35, but we have some much colder air moving in, being ushered in by these strong wind gusts just above the surface. So. That's where we're starting to see that frozen precip, and it is translating close to the surface. 34 year wind gust forecast as we go through the 5 o'clock hour today here in Indy. Notice that everybody, though, in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range all the way through the evening tonight, and this is going to take us on through the overnight as well. So the wind gust's not expected to calm down until we get in really tomorrow afternoon. This is going to be a nice stretch here of some really strong wind gusts. 34 degrees at 5 p.m. We take you into the evening tonight. We'll continue to see some light mixed showers as temperatures continue to drop around 33 at 7. Keep in mind that wind chill value going to drop back through the 20s and stay that way for the remainder of the day. There's really not a lot of moisture to work with here as we get into the evening. Here's 5 o'clock on into the evening hours tonight. You'll notice we'll pick up on a few of those stray flurries, perhaps some mixed showers as well, but nothing that's going to necessarily accumulate. We will notice some slick spots here as we get into early Tuesday and temperatures fall back below freezing for overnight lows around 29 in Indy, 30 in Muncie. Same deal in Shelbyville. Any of that leftover moisture on the ground potentially freezing over, want you to be cautious of that. Also, some scattered snow showers with the uh, system that's departing. This is going to wrap around the back side of that, so we could even see some light snow early tomorrow morning. Here's 5 a.m. This is quickly going to clear out, and then eventually we'll notice a clearing sky into our New Year's Eve afternoon. The clearing will take place through the evening and overnight as well, so temperatures are really going to cool off as we get into closer to midnight. Here's midnight as we ring in the new year. So planning ahead tomorrow morning, scattered snow showers, temperatures near freezing. Overall, going to be a colder day. High is only near 36 degrees. And then come tomorrow night, the sky will be mostly clear. It will be cold and still breezy. So right there at midnight, near 30 degrees, wind chill values dropping back into the teens. That's how we'll start the day, the first day of 2020, I should say, 36 at noon, and then we get back into the lower 40s for highs, slowly going to increase our temperatures toward the end of the week. Come Thursday, 49 degrees, but rain moving in late in the day. Our next weather system brings in some balmy temps on Friday, 55, but showers will be likely. And behind that system, more snow possible on Saturday and much colder. Your highs back in the 30s for next weekend.